Split is a great honor. It's a great honor that my alma mater recognizes the life and the work that I have done. But it's very much an honor to African women that I have worked with, with whom we've struggled and won rights and changed our communities and our countries. This was the place where we reflected and found our voices, our place and our role in, so in our societies. This is where we found the confidence to go back and dream our dreams and make them come true. So for, oh, for Manchester to keep sharing knowledge, giving opportunity to young people from developing countries is just amazing and I'm so proud to be an, uh, an alumni, alumnus. Alumna, I think. Alumna, <laughs> yes. So proud to be an alumna. <laughs> the role of the GDI and, and its researchers, a very important role. Of course, you work on finding policy solutions to questions, to, to challenging problems in development. But I think more than finding solutions, policy solutions, it's so important to do that fundamental research I was talking about of what are the bases of this growth model? How do we challenge the ideas, the assumptions that underpin this model? Because I'm quite convinced that globalization, the economic model that underpins it, is driven by the wrong values, not the values we subscribe to, certainly not the human rights values that are in the, in the Universal Human Rights Charter. So connecting human rights to development, a human rights-based approach to development, and anchoring in values is very important. And challenging neoliberalism, for me, is an important role for a, an institute like the GDI. It has to be political, because it's about challenging the causes of poverty.